welcome back to Aviation This Week. Today's edition is brought to you by Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. I'm Justin Belmore, and this week in aviation news, Fanshawe's new school of aviation welcomes dozens at an open house. Boeing reportedly changed its mind about appealing the tariff ruling they lost against Bombardier. And NTSB sends urgent recommendation to prohibit flights with unsafe harness systems. All of your aviation news after this brief message from our sponsor. Norton Wolf School of Aviation at Fanshawe welcomed visitors to an open house on March 24th. Dozens of guests toured the school's training facility, which was formerly the Jazz Hangar at London International Airport in London, Ontario. Instructors and students worked together to guide visitors through avionics and battery testing labs, a metal shop, an A320 avionics simulator room, and a 50,000 square foot hangar that can house up to 20 aircraft. The Norton Wolf School offers two-year programs in aircraft maintenance and avionics. The programs have doubled admission since 2016 and are now hosting about 200 students taught by 12 instructors. Aircraft giant Boeing will not appeal a ruling by the U.S. International Trade Commission that allows its Canadian rival Bombardier to sell its newest commercial jets without heavy duties, CBC reports. Boeing launched a trade case with the Independent International Trade Commission last April arguing Bombardier's C-Series commercial jets were getting subsidies that undercut American competition. In a surprise decision in January, the ITC voted unanimously in favor of Bombardier, saying Boeing did not suffer harm as claimed in the case. That decision eliminated nearly 300% in duties imposed by the U.S. Department of Commerce. A Boeing spokesperson confirmed the decision not to appeal Thursday night, but declined to elaborate. The National Transportation Safety Board called on the Federal Aviation Administration to prohibit commercial flights that don't have easy-release harnesses. The urgent recommendation stems from the ongoing NTSB investigation of a fatal accident in New York City involving an Airbus helicopter carrying five aerial photographers. The helicopter crashed in the East River after the pilot reported a loss of engine power. The pilot escaped from the helicopter with minor injuries. But five other passengers who wore the harnesses, in addition to the safety belts, were trapped inside and drowned. The harness system provided to the passengers was not installed by Airbus, but rather by FlyNion, the company that sold the experience. It was not evaluated by the FAA. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to our sponsor, Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. Send in your nominations for our annual Top 20 Under 40 feature by May 1st at wingsmagazine.com and helicoptersmagazine.com. And be sure to tune in to our next episode on Friday, April 13th for the latest in aviation news. I'm Justin Belmore. We'll see you next time.